fight Chris Eubanks Jr. <laughs> wins the regular WBA title right now, which according to him, he was informed that it could be upgraded to the Super WBA title because Canelo was supposed to be vacating it. Still ain't ha heard no word on it. But he wins it uh, due to a retirement in the second round from Matt Korobov. Let's talk a little bit about the fight. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. I had Korobov winning the first round. His left hand was very, very effective. Uh, Eubanks ain't been active at all. Korobov has been fairly more active than Eubanks. Um, and it showed, uh, but he didn't hurt Eubanks with nothing early, but he definitely was in control. And Korobov is strong in the first in the, in the first few rounds. He usually fades towards the end. It's one of the reasons I picked Eubanks Jr. But um, second round come out early. It's two minutes and some change. And second round, he threw a, a lunge and left. And uh, he threw a shoulder out. You know, he's 36 years old. He had, you know, he had his Bernard Hopkins uh, moment, even though Bernard faked his shit. My shoulder, my shoulder. <laughs> I remember that fight. Uh, my boy mom, she ordered it, and I told her not to. It was Chad Dawson versus Bernard Hopkins won. And everybody knew Bernard Hopkins had problems uh, versus boxers. And he faked the injury to get out. And I believe that to this day, he faked that injury. But Bernard Hopkins still one of my favorites, man. Uh, but... He threw a shoulder out. He went to the ref. Um, Eubanks was about to jump on him before the ref stumped in, stepped in. But he threw a shoulder out. And I don't think his uh I don't think it's a question about his integrity on faking the shoulder injury due to the due to like he may never get this shot again. You know, he could have went on and fought for the WBC title, or he could have got upgraded to the super title, you know, and you know, the question is, should Eubanks have to give him a, a rematch immediately and um uh, depends on how fast he heal, you know, and how fast Jamal Charlo want to come back. Jamal Charlo, he fight tonight, and they want to do the winner of uh, Charlo. Well, if Charlo win, if Hogan win, he probably going to get Jaime Maguire next at 160 if he take care of Gary Spike O'Sullivan. I think they fighting at the Alamo down in San Antonio. But, um, but yeah, I think depending on how how quick Korobov heal, they should have to do it again. Or if, he, if Charlo win tonight and Eubanks go ahead they want to fight Charlo, then the winners had to fight Korobov, and Charlo owed Korobov a rematch, because I felt that Korobov beat him, but, you know, it was a freak accident, it happens, and, you know, Showtime just needed to consider, like, just getting out of boxing, I heard they picked up the Danny Garcia fight, I, I heard the interview, but I'm also watching the Wisconsin-Ohio State game on the, on the tube, and I'm watching the fight on the laptop, but uh, Danny Garcia, obviously, they got rid of the December, uh, the January 25th date, that was supposed to be a pay-per-view on Fox, they downgraded that to Showtime, and um, so Showtime picked up a fight date. So that looked like Danny Garcia probably going to be fighting Josito Lopez. But at the end of the day, um, Showtime just need to get out of boxing. I heard they still trying to bid uh, to be a, a partner pay-per-view for Wilder and Fury 2, but I feel that Fox going to win that. But congratulations to Chris Eubanks Jr. Like he said, it wasn't the way he envisioned winning it, but he said Karma you know, definitely got you uh, uh by back and i don't know what he meant by that but yeah he must have did something in the, in the world to deserve this but or it might be a good thing you know maybe it was something worse that could have happened to him in the fight but showtime saying we know matt korbov he didn't do anything to deserve this karma i just like the way like showtime they just they just they just like the new hbo you know what i'm saying they just like the new hbo you don't know this man do you go do you know him when he was growing up you don't know everybody do bad and good things nobody is perfect you know, and they got this, 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 this thought process that the other is so perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, if I'm Deontay Wilde, I never fight on Showtime after the Fury fight again. I don't care how much money they pay me. I ain't fighting on there again. Al Bernstein is turned into a straight trash can, trash fire can of an analyst. Soon as HBO went out of business, they showed their true colors. And I'm not saying like nothing wrong with Matt Korobov at all. But what I'm saying is. They so quick to take up for the other, but they don't take up for the brothers on there. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, shout out to Chris Eubanks Jr. I picked him to win. I don't care. He won. You know, Korobov, he should have put some get Bengay on his shoulder tonight, but hopefully he get better um, and get back in the mix. But I do think he deserves a rematch with both Eubanks and uh, Jamal Charlo. But, hey, don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you got business questions, queries, want to share video questions, want to make a donation, link description, best way to donate, share the video. Let me know what y'all thought about the shoulder injury. One time for the one time. Good for the sports TV, ready for more. Take on Dennis Hogan next. Hopefully, good fight and shade.